What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to go over the new trailer and information surrounding the next Alien movie. That's right, they're making another one. And right off the bat, this teaser starts off with an extended shot that backs into like a wide angle revealing a ton of blood all over a spaceship. We get little glimpses of some face huggers attacking people that look pretty cool, a lot of weird and wild stuff going down on the ship, and even the final shots of a girl standing with some kind of pulse rifle looking gun and a full grown Xeno. Now, to say that this thing doesn't look at the very least well put together is an understatement, but probably the biggest thing that jumps out at me from this trailer is that it kind of feels like a live action adaptation of Alien Isolation, the hit survival horror video game from 10 years ago. The thing looks slick, it looks dark, and it looks visually very similar to the 1979 first film, although it does seem like they're also incorporating ideas from James Cameron's sequel. Now, I don't really know how this thing is going to go down, but judging by the trailer, the tone of the movie is pretty basic. It looks like we're going to get a very back-to-basics, old-school alien feel, more like that slasher science fiction horror idea, and we haven't really seen that in a while. Alien Covenant came out seven years ago, and I know that there's a lot of people that hate that movie, but there's also a lot of people that kind of like it. Personally, I haven't seen it in a while, and every time I have seen it since then, it's gotten slightly worse, but I never hated the movie. Like, I liked a lot of the action scenes and stuff like that, and from my understanding, they, with this movie, they kind of wanted to move away from the more prequel ideas, especially with David, and kind of do something else, which, by the way, there's a lot that they've revealed about it already. So look, one of the things that I think makes this whole project so interesting is the fact that it's being produced by Ridley Scott after both Prometheus and Alien Covenant kind of scared a lot of people away, and it's also being directed by Fede Alvarez, who did the 2013 version of Evil Dead. Now, visually, everything looks pretty cool, but what I honestly care about the most is what the story is going to be about. And it looks like what they're doing with this movie is making something of a prequel slash sequel that takes place after the events of the 1979 original, which is why you get a lot of that older retro looking tech from Sigourney Weaver's first movie. And Romulus, by the way, is also supposed to be set before the events of Aliens from 1986. So it's kind of like a little in-between experience, again, very much so like what they were doing with alien isolation an unknown type some kind of alien organism it's extremely dangerous you and taylor Ripley, need to make taylor is hurt she was injured by debris during the crossing now, the director has actually revealed that a deleted scene from the 1986 film, which I will talk about soon, by the way. I have reviews of Alien, Aliens, The Thing, and Species 2, believe it or not, all just waiting to get released around the time this movie drops, so they're coming. But anyways, Fede said that as far as this new film goes, a deleted scene from James Cameron's Aliens inspired this new movie with... Quote, there's a moment where you see a bunch of kids running and riding a big wheel around the corridors of this colony, and I thought, wow, what would it be like for those kids to grow up in a colony that still needs another 50 years to terraform? So I remember thinking, if I ever tell a story in that world, I would definitely be interested in those kids when they reach their early 20s. I gotta be honest with you, I never really thought that would be too compelling, like that never showed up in my mind, but the trailer was pretty slick, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And what I think he's probably pitching to us here is like imagine if we got to see like kids that had been living on a planet while it was terraforming only they grew up into like their early 20s and then the alien stuff hit the fan well then uh, it's a different setting i guess but it sounds kind of well it sounds exactly what it is doesn't it set between alien and aliens i don't think they're on lv426 or anything like that and in fact i'm pretty sure that doesn't make sense but it's interesting Okay, so the actual plot of the movie is supposed to be, quote, while scavenging the deep ends of a derelict space station, a group of young space colonizers come face to face with the most terrifying form in the universe. I don't know where they came from. In the original Alien movie, they were on that space jockey dude ship, so I guess there's eggs or maybe aliens on other parts of the galaxy, and they just kind of stumble across one. It's going to be interesting to see how they actually dive into that. Now, the lead role is going to be played by Kaylee Spaney, 
who is stepping into some colossal shoes from the one and only Sigourney Weaver, who is not only one of the most prolific science fiction stars of the entire 20th century, she's also showed back up recently in Ghostbusters Afterlife, which is another big brand that she's a part of. Now, Kaylee and everyone else involved with this movie are probably going to be playing more rough and tumble style characters than what we've seen from the more recent Ridley Scott prequels, or at least that's just my best guess based off of this footage. It's a shame we don't know any character names just yet, but apparently Ridley Scott has seen the film and really liked it, especially the writing. And part of me wonders how this lead role is going to be different from Ripley. I'm sure she'll do a good job, but I kind of want to see like what's going on here. Like who is this and how do they play into alien stuff? You know, I also kind of want this to be tied in to the originals, which I'll go into later. I know they had Amanda Ripley in Alien Isolation, but it made sense. And not everybody has to be related, but it, it, you know, if you want a tied in cohesive universe, it doesn't hurt. So we're going to be waiting to see how everything shakes out. But for now, this is all we really have to go off of. Fede went on to say that there are connections in this movie all the way from Alien 1 to Alien Covenant, so everything seems to still be in canon. I think for me, I'm just kind of interested to see where they take this thing. You know, with a franchise like Alien, you technically could set things in between other movies and it would still be off the radar enough to make sense in the broader scheme of things, kind of like Jurassic Park, which they need to do. But part of me is also just wondering what an Alien movie is really like without Sigourney Weaver. I know we've seen them before, but look, one of the reasons I've always had a problem with modern movies claiming they are, quote, breaking new ground by having a female lead is because it's not only a lie, but I've seen entire franchises based off of women leading these kinds of roles for half a century, and Alien really was Ripley's story to me. She started and ended in a series that I think really revolved around her more than the monster, but all that has changed now, and I do think this movie looks good, and I don't even have a big problem with some of the movies without her, but I think that the heart of Alien stuff, especially set in between films, you know, it's just, the heart of Alien is Ripley, and it's a bit weird to think about something without her, even though we've seen it before. This looks like it's trying to emulate Ripley's Alien experiences, and yeah, it's, it's just kind of weird for me. Again, this could be tied into Alien Isolation, and that would help give it that Ripley feel because her daughter is in it, but I kind of doubt it, and we'll just have to wait and see how everything goes. All in all, I think the trailer for the new movie looks pretty good, Sure, it looks like it plays things safe and that it's just another one of those movies, but the back to basics approach could really pay off if they're lucky. Also, I still really want to see Alien 5 with Sigourney Weaver back. I did a whole video on the channel before in the past going over that project and how close it was to happening. It looked really, really cool. But for now, this movie is the next thing that we have to look forward to in the franchise. And not going to lie, it looks pretty sick, but that's just what I think. What was your favorite part of the teaser? And what do you think about the setting so far in between Alien? and aliens. I think the whole idea of facehuggers hunting people down in that hallway looked pretty fun, and I think it will probably end up being just a fun little slasher-style alien movie, but hey, those are all just my own thoughts on the subject matter. Whatever yours happen to be, I would love to hear all about them in the comments down below. Let me tell you something, brother. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it, and if you'd like to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be updated when I put out new videos. God bless you all. Christ is King. I hope you all enjoyed your time, and as always, take it easy.